Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're gonna jump straight into it. Essentially, the goal of this video is to kind of show you guys how can you increase your FPS or your frames per second as much as possible with whatever, doesn't matter what type of gaming PC uh, you happen to have, whether it be a laptop, a cheap, expensive, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, so first of all, real quick, let me just go ahead and show you my FPS. Uh, I already have the most optimal settings. Uh, so you're going to see that I'm literally reaching the max FPS that this game is capable of doing right now. Okay. Uh, if you go ahead and see on the top left hand corner, it is maxing out at 400. It literally can't go above 400 uh, right now. Now I do have a higher, uh, or sir, should I say, a higher performance uh, PC, okay, which allows me to also be able to do that. Uh, but that does not mean that that is the main reason. Okay, sure, it helps. The main reason why I'm able to get these high things is literally because of my settings, uh, which I will get to in a sec. Now, one thing I do wanna note real quick too, is that in this video, uh, so as of right now, for example, too, the video capture I'm doing to record this video, it may not look like super high FPS to you guys watching this video, um, but that is simply because of how the recording works. Most recording software don't aren't actually able to record very high, super high FPS frame rates. Uh, a lot of them will maybe cap out at, at like 120 the most. So even though my on my screen, on my gaming PC, this is clearly 400 FPS. But to you guys watching this video, simply because of the recording software, it may not look like the most smoothest thing. So you, you wanna pay attention mostly to the number on the, on the top left of the screen right there. That's the main indicator of what my actual FPS is, okay? So just word of caution out there. So as you can see, I do have 400 FPS right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump into the, ops, into the settings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the main settings that you need to be aware of. Uh, and then what I'll do afterwards is I'll do a comparison to if I have everything completely different and show you the major drastic difference between the frame rates. Uh, if you do it from the optimal settings to the non-optimal settings, essentially. Okay, the extreme differences. So... We'll just go by step by step. Everything here you're going to be looking at is on your video. Go to your video section in your settings, okay? Uh, display mode, that's up to you, it doesn't really matter, okay? You wanna have your resolution to match whatever your monitor is capable of, okay? So I have a 144 hertz monitor. So I have 1920 times uh, 1080p, okay? And this is 144 hertz. That's what that 144 means. So in case you're not aware what that means, that's what that means, okay? So if you don't have a 144 hertz monitor, maybe you're playing on a very uh, cheap PC or a cheap laptop, for example, that's only able to handle maybe like, I don't know, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second or whatever, then you would pick one of these lower end options with the numbers right next to them, okay, with the star. Now you will have to find out on your own uh, as to what your, mo your monitor is capable of providing uh, just so because of the fact that even if your computer is able to handle higher frame rates if your monitor is not able to handle higher frame rates it doesn't really matter okay so that is also very like that matters just as much uh, so for me i have 144 uh, hertz monitor so i have it 144 um, you want to have your field of view to be at 103 just max it out all the way you basically just are able to fit more stuff on your screen at once which lets you be able to take in in any given situation while you're playing more information of what's happening uh, so you want to have that aspect ratio i have it at 16 uh, 9 that's kind of like the standard V-Sync, I have it off. You don't really want it on. It will lower, lower your performance a little bit. Triple buffering, I I hate this. Absolutely. It basically just makes your, your game uh, stutter a lot more than it really needs to. Uh, so I really, you don't want that on either. Have it off. Reduce buffering, yes, you want that on. You want as little uh, hesitation in your computer as possible. So you want the reduced buffering. Um, display performance stats, that doesn't matter. That's that's purely uh, for personal taste. Well, that basically just lets you be able to see like the numbers up top like I have up here. 
Um, the main thing you really want to take a look at though are going to be the, these next section. The NVIDIA Reflex is a new thing that recently just got added to the game. It was previously on the PTR shortly before I think the last patch or so, last patch or two, uh, and it just got added. You basically just want it on, okay? At least have it enabled. I'd recommend enabled boost if you have uh, the functionality for it. I believe you do need to have an RTX graphics card though. It doesn't have to be a 3000 series, but it can still be like a 2000 series if you happen to have one, but I believe you do need to have an RTX graphics card in order to use the NVIDIA Reflex uh, function. Essentially from what I understood on what it does is that it essentially just helps, it uses the RTX uh, graphics cards AI to help, uh, basically help your aim, long story short. Um, that's the best way to explain it in a short summary. It helps your aim, so just have it on. Uh, I would also have the flash indicator off because every time you fire, that flash is gonna be going crazy. You, that's too, it, you'll have a seizure <laughs> if you do that. So I would, I would just keep it off, just keep it off. Um, now the limit FPS, this is completely up to you guys. This is probably mostly going to be relevant uh, if you happen to, be, happen to be doing streaming on a single PC, if you don't have a dual PC setup. Um, where you will need to limit your FPS in order to, to let OBS uh, be able to capture uh, the game smoothly without it like flickering and making it look choppy. Um, that's the main thing that I've, from my experience, as to what you really need to limit the FPS for. Uh, otherwise, if you're only running just the game and that's it, you're just playing the game, um, you can have it at whatever setting you want. Hey guys, as a helpful reminder, if you end up liking the video or find it helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. It really helps me out and lets me be able to do more stuff like this. I also stream on Twitch very regularly. I'm a variety streamer. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out too. Okay, so now for the meat of what really drives the majority of your FPS, it's going to be your graphics quality. Uh, this is literally gonna affect the majority of your FPS, your frame rate. Um, everything else that I mentioned before does affect it, but these are definitely gonna be what affects it the most. Okay, so this is the meat of it. All right, long story short, if you want the max frame rate possible for your computer, regardless of what type or how expensive or how cheap your computer is, you're gonna want your graphics quality to be basically on low or off for almost everything. <laughs> Long story short, okay. Um, now, of course, this is specific, specifically if you are playing the game in a ranked competitive environment, you continuously play uh, competitive, uh, you want to push, give yourself that little extra edge that kind of make help you be a little bit better compared to everybody else. If you just play the game for fun, this might not matter as much, okay? Uh, maybe you do like having all the graphical settings so it, like the game looks really nice and helps the immersion, in which case, this is probably not the video for you. <laughs> Long story short, uh, it might help. Um, but probably not the video for you. This is more from a competitive standpoint. Uh, if you want the max FPS, you essentially want to put it on low uh, and we'll quickly go through everything as well. You want the render scale to be at 100. Uh, if you go anywhere above 100, your computer starts to drastically drop in performance. Um, it's really stupid. Just have it at 100. That way you're, you're getting that sweet spot of everything being just fine you're, and your, com your computer is not overperforming, but it's not underperforming either um, just keep it at 100 percent texture quality you can keep it at medium um, if you have it at low some things can kind of how should i word it the hit boxes on things can be a little bit misleading uh which you don't want so medium seems to be the sweet spot where it's good enough on being able to tell where hitboxes are, uh, but it doesn't have to use too much processing power either uh, in order to just find uh, smooth out the edges essentially. Uh, texture filtering quality, this doesn't really seem to do too much. Um, personally, I just have it on Epic because why not? Um, you can kind of take your pick on this. Uh, if you just want, if you just want to play it safe, you can have it on lower or medium. Um, this one doesn't really seem to matter too much though. So I just have it on Epic. Local fog detail. Uh, I would have this, just have this on low. This is stuff like, uh, well, fog and stuff. Um, if you're on certain 
maps like Anubis and stuff. You might have like dust or whatever flying around. So uh, this helps get rid of that. Um, have it on low. You don't want anything to obscure your vision essentially while you're playing uh, in a competitive environment. Dynamic reflection. So this is like water and stuff or, you know, light bouncing off stuff. Uh, just have it off. Again, you don't want to have anything obscuring your vision and it just it just absorbs more GPU power, which you don't want, as well as more frame rates, which you don't want. Shadow detail, self-explanatory, casting shadows and stuff. Just have it off. Um, it uses extra processing, but anything that uses extra uh, GPU or processing power, you basically just want it off. So that way it can, you can, um, so that way your computer can focus on your frame rate instead of, instead of the graphics. Model detail, uh, I would have this at low or medium personally. Um, I like to have it on ultra just because of the fact that I feel like part of kind of what makes Overwatch Overwatch in the first place is the heroes. So I like being able to like, you know, finally see the heroes. Uh, so even though I have it on ultra, you guys don't have to have it on ultra. You can easily have this in one of the lowest settings if you want to. So this is just a personal taste. You don't have to have this. Um, effects detail, low. Uh, lighting quality, low. Uh, Anti-alias quality. This is the only one where you don't want it off. You actually want it on low to have the FXAA. Uh, again, this is one of those things that just seems to have that, that sweet spot. Uh, it kind of helps out the computer a little bit if you have it uh, just barely on instead of having it off. Uh, so low, uh, refraction quality, again, low, uh, screen truck quality doesn't really matter. So you can just have it at times one. Um, now these two right in here, the local reflections and ambient occlusion, these ones actually hinder your, F your frame rate a lot if they're on. So have them both off. Uh, you will notice a drastic difference in your frame rate. Like easily when I turn these off, I noticed like I easily had like a hundred FPS difference, uh, in my frame rate when I turned them off. Uh, it's a big difference and damage effects. You can you can have it on or off. Uh, I prefer to just have it off. So th this is the main section. If you want to max out your your frame rate as much as possible, regardless of what type of computer you have. And just to show you guys how much of a difference this makes, we'll go ahead and show a couple comparisons. All right, so as you guys can see here, I currently have 400 FPS. Uh, this is with everything basically at low or off settings that I just pre previously mentioned. And it runs very smoothly. Okay, so now I had changed the settings so that everything is at max. The complete opposite of what I previously mentioned is the ideal settings. Just to kind of show you guys how big of a massive difference changing your settings can affect your FPS. Uh, so right now everything's at max. And as you can tell at the top of the screen, I'm averaging around 190 frames, frames per second right now. My frame rate. Now if we go to my settings, I can kind of show you guys that. See, I have it on Epic and literally everything is maxed out. I have literally everything on the highest possible setting and I'm barely reaching about a 190 FPS right now. And keep in mind that this is on my computer, which I have a 3080 graphics card right now, uh, which is honestly one of the best ones on the market as of right now. And I have a 144 hertz monitor. Um, so the fact that on a, not necessarily a top of the line PC, but a pretty damn good way above average PC, and I'm getting 190 on this, anything that's probably less than my, my computer specs, you're probably going to get a way drastic drop in, uh, FPS than I would. Okay. Um, and even just saying that the fact I went from having 400 FPS previously to barely 190 as of right now, that's a major difference. Now the game might look absolutely gorgeous <laughs> with, if your computer is able to handle these graphical settings, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best for your frame rate. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Remember if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful, hopefully you did. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this on this video. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm and all that good jazz. <laughs> helps let you know when I upload more videos such as this one. Without further ado, though, I will see you guys later. Take care, guys. Peace.